Good. I am ready. And I gotta say, the Hero Forge pictures look really good as tokens. They do. They do, actually. It's one of my favorite places to make uh, characters from. So, uh, yes, go ahead. <clears throat> we're back. Uh, we're a little late tonight, but uh, yeah, some technical difficulties and other difficulties. But we're playing some Boot Hill 3rd Edition tonight. Uh, tonight's going to be slow moving, as none of us are really familiar with these rules. We're going to just kind of do a shakedown tonight. Uh, yeah. kind of looking we're a bit things. slow tonight yeah. yeah don't don't rightly plan to be familiar <clears throat> with these rules <laughs> <laughs> they're actually not bad but they are definitely written uh in a way from from a particular time um yeah. and it shows <laughs> it does show but uh, i i do like the rule set uh, but we'll see how they actually work in play. So we didn't make characters the last time we were together. We just kind of fleshed out the town. Um, so tonight, mm -hmm. let's introduce our characters and let's go. Uh, let's go in reverse from what I have on my screen. So Kim, who are you playing? And tell us a little bit about the person. Okay. 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 I'm unmuted. Okay. So um, my <laughs> character is Anne Burris, and I was kind of thinking of her as more of a gunslinger type with you know kind of the fast draw thing going okay and is usually pretty well dressed now from our uh, uh our town building session did you hook her into any of the things that were going on like are you already a townie are you coming in on the train yeah i was coming in i wanted to take advantage of the ladies clothing shop <laughs> okay. okay um bill who are you playing i am playing cyrus black um, I picture him as kind of a short guy. He's like your your typical, you know, short guy that wants to fight everybody because they look down on him. So that's kind of how I picture my guy. Now, are you a townie or are you coming in for a reason? No, I'm a townie. You're a townie. Okay. Is okay. anybody in particular you're attached to that we uh, did in the generation? Oh think so i don't remember okay that's fine yeah um steven who you got i'm playing wes wendelson okay uh well he's just your generic average cowboy hero of the range but there's a problem with this here town cattle went scarce when it, the cattle went scarce so did his job meanwhile the sheriff he was new to town as well and he was asking if Wes was looking for employ he was and now he's a deputy okay he was he tries not to say talk too much he says what he means it means what he says and tries to leave it at that very laconic and I have the absolute perfect accent for him. My natural, lilting, sardonic tones. <laughs> perfect. Okay. Uh, well, and John, who you got? I'm playing Jasper Bloodlust Brit. The mercenary hired to keep the banker alive. Me and my boys are working for Mr. Pope, the banker. Now, here's the problem, though. My brother, the Sheriff Aaron Britt, Sheriff of this here town. <laughs> so it's, we may be having some problems. He also forgot Mom's birthday. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, so yeah. you're the you're the mercenary that came into town. Well, you're one of them. Um, there, there's, well, I figure I'm the mercenary yeah. leader because yeah. I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you're an out of towner. Uh, so yeah. is Kim's character. The other two of you are townies. Okay. I'm more towny than the other guys, but not really. <laughs> right. Yeah. Normally yeah. just passing through. That's right. I did come up with a name for the banker, who's basically the source of all woe in town, Alexander Matthias Pope. <laughs> now there's a name to hang hang a hang a mustache off of. <clears throat> Sounds religious. Yeah. Don't like it. A twirly mustache. Okay. Yeah. All right.
back. That sounds good. Uh, so other things that were going on at the town. Uh, we got a couple dozen people that came in on the train recently, probably the same train as your character, uh, Kim mm-hmm. and uh, John. Um, yep. Yeah, so uh, foreigners to the area, and uh, it's causing a little bit of a stir since there's not a lot of housing in the area, and they're going to have to figure that out because they seem to want to take up here find jobs, uh, perhaps raise some cattle of their own, then finding out the cattle is scarce, uh, that could be a problem. Yep. So the things that are going around in the newspaper, if you uh, pick up a copy, there's uh, predators about. Uh, you Not just the normal vermin, uh, but something more dangerous out there. Uh, some yep. folks that are led to high imagination uh, say that uh, something that is mostly creature, but walks like a man is out there. It has a taste for human flesh. Mm. Uh, but those are, you know, from mm. drunkards and fools, obviously, because those things don't exist, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they recently unearthed a train uh, or train car that shouldn't have been in this area in the first place uh, and is kind of a uh, what are they called? Uh, oop, an out of place object. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the second sheriff has been missing. A uh, new sheriff has uh, been known to be a very straight shooter, somebody that you mm-hmm. cannot sway with money or pretty talk. Mm-hmm. All right. So here's how I'm going to set this up. Uh, I'll let you guys decide exactly how you're all forced together here. But. Uh, John, your character is Jasper, right? Yep. Well, Jasper, you got off the train yesterday. Looking Me and my to boys fu- got off the train yesterday, yeah. Yeah. So trying to find uh, or trying to hook up with Mr. Alexander Matthias Polk, only to find out that he's gone missing. He already owes us a train trip ticket. <laughs> uh, the sheriff has been called out of town so it's been left to the deputy steven's character (laughs) uh to go out to to gather together a posse Mm -hmm. of individuals to go find mr pope because he was out on a hunting expedition Mm. and uh the expedition came back but without mr polk and they said that he wandered off to go and relieve himself behind some bushes and he never came back to camp they looked for him they looked for him for hours and hours but they had to get back well that's a conundrum (laughs) oh uh, one more thing you should add in there because we're we're getting a we're getting a union uh a union calvary state of fort here Mm. on the river Yep. I don't know that it's actually occupied yet, or it's still, it's still under construction. The engineers are out, and it's still under construction, so it is not occupied by actual soldiers yet, just their uh, engineering corps. Oh, yeah. We probably should say to the folks watching this, when we say union, it's <laughs> It's union. nebulous. It's a yes. union. We're not saying yeah. this is uh, based anywhere in the United States or internationally. It's nebulous, as is the year. Nebulous. Yeah. It's the West. <laughs> If you want to call it the Hollywood West or the mythical West, yeah, we, mythical West may be more appropriate. It, it's a West. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so that's the setup. So uh, naturally, Wes Windelson, I mean, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're in charge of this party as you're the official person wearing the 10 star of a deputy on your chest. Mm-hmm. Uh, been given... Uh, a great deal of latitude and power from the sheriff. What is the sheriff's name? Uh, Aaron Britt? Is that what we... That's yep. his uh, God-given name. Okay. A lot of people call Sweet. him uh, Sweet Tooth or Sweet Foot, something like that. Sweet Tooth <laughs> or Sweet Foot, yeah. Mm. He likes his candy. The Sweet Tooth uh, may revolve in a little bit of diabetes, and then he gets the <laughs> Sweet Foot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know. It's a lot better sounding than Bloodbath Brit. Right. So, <laughs> now let's find out why these particular Whatever. people have been rounded up for your posse, uh, Wes. Now, Jasper uh, essentially probably left you no choice to take him because... You got uh, some vested interest in this, Jasper, I figures. 
Yeah. And Jasper's already been paid a stipend uh, in advance. So <laughs> if Jasper's yep. anything like his brother, is it an older brother or a younger brother? Younger brother. Younger brother. If you're anything like your younger brother, the fact that you've been paid means you've got to do a job. Hey, now, his job said protect him. So, yes, I will do my best to protect him. If he asks me to do anything else, I say that's not in the contract. <laughs> uh, Cyrus, why would you have gotten uh, tangled up in a posse? Well, I, I can't really do much, but I'm mean, I'm quiet, and I can read. Mm. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm not one to back away from a fight. So as soon as he said he needed help, that was me. All right. All right. Sounds good. Uh, leaving goes with Ann. Ann? Um... Actually, I, I, let me ask Ann something. Are you one of my folks or are you independent? She said she wasn't attached to anyone. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can because I do need money and I can shoot things. Yeah. Five dollars a day. <laughs> yeah, she she could be one of the mercs that came in. Uh, the rest mm -hmm. of them have to kind of maybe they were just uh, settling everything in, getting all your luggage moved in and all that. Uh, yep. And yeah. you're in the hotel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the only place big enough to hold everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say there's like five people he hired. So it's like you're you and your crew of five, and Anne here is probably the best shot of them. Mm -hmm. Probably a better shot than me. Okay. Which yeah. And so, Wes, these are the only people you're able to round up because, honestly, Baker's not really well-liked. Well, uh, that makes sense. And I'm going to say, yep, we better saddle up in the morning as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the map that we have out here, uh, you guys uh, have been searching all day. Uh, you stumble. This is the camp that Mr. Pope and his men were last night, and so you figure this was the this is the best place to start your search. Of course, do we know what bush he went behind? Yeah, they, as best as they anyone could remember, they told you. So if you look at the you know bottom of the map here, let me ping it. Uh, so he went behind this this. Uh, oh, that bush. Yeah. Why am I pink? I will change my color to something other. There we go. There is a more appropriate color. There we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it's fairly late in the day. You've got maybe three hours uh, before nightfall. Uh, the fire in the middle of the camp there is, of course, burned down from last night, but it's still, you know. Uh, we can throw some more. We mm -hmm. can throw some more logs on, on it. Yep. Now, so, I didn't bring any boys with me. They're staying back home because, you know, right. they're staying back in town because they need to set things up around the banker's residence in the bank and so all of the hunters that came out here with him uh just basically got back to town quick to report what happened after they spent all day looking for mr polk and couldn't find him mm. so they just left all the gear out here yep so of course i, I walk over to the deputy look down at him because i'm probably taller than he is <laughs> that's why i sit on a horse the whole time <laughs> <laughs> He goes to the bathroom on on top of his horse. So, son, you work for my brother, am I right? Thereabouts. I know you have no love for for my employer. I ain't say I got any love for him either, but he's paying me. Uh, you think he could be one of the town folks that could have done him wrong, or maybe he's got himself lost? I ain't. <laughs> in the mind to do any pondering i'm in the mind to do some looking well let's go look in that bush and see if there's any evidence of whatever happened to him uh, so i'm just gonna just remind the folks that are townies um and you can part with this information or you cannot um is that the reason the town really doesn't like mr polk is because he claims to hold the original deed for the town and he's saying that the whole town is his yep uh, so that's caused, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that was a fairly recent revelation. Mm -hmm. Kim can share that. West don't particularly care. Well, no, yeah. Kim's not a Kim's character is not a. No, it's, not it's, a it's Cyrus. Cyrus is the only one who actually cares. Cyrus, then. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. Well, I'll show them whose town it is, God damn it. <laughs> you find him and stick a knife in him, right? <laughs> well, no, Mr. Mr. Pope has been kind of chummy with the territorial governor, so you never know about the vintage of that deed. <laughs> Something smells fishy about them. That's all I know. I'm not the speculating kind. Yeah. Well, we still got light. It's, it's daylight. Let's go check and see what we can find of that there that there bush. All right. So, Cyrus, did you share the fact that uh, Mr. Pope is uh, made a claim to the entire town, or are you holding yeah. that to yourself? You did. You did spout that out. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. And I, and I imagine that in his letters to me, well, in our communications, because I doubt I read. Mm-hmm. Look, no literary skill. So yeah, my communications with it. <laughs> okay. uh, so who's going out to the bush and taking a look to see uh, his would, last note? I'm down there already. Yeah, I'm down there already. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, anyone who is taking a look, uh, so it can be more than just John's character. Go ahead and make me an observation roll, because All a right. lot of people have already trampled through here. Though it's going to be at a minus three, but don't put the minus three in the modifier. And just count yeah. your score as being three less. If you've got a 15, it's a 12. And you need to roll under that. I did not roll under my skill. Okay. Under my observation. Neither did Wes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not with that minus. Is minus three minus. good or bad in this case? It, it's bad. It, it's, a, it's a negative modifier. So it makes it it makes your skill worse, or in this case, your attribute worse. And you need yes. to roll under your attribute. So I had to roll 12 or less. Yep. All right. So you guys look around and that's exactly what you find is like if there was any trail or anything left behind by Mr. Polk, it's been trampled by the 20 or so men that he brought out here with him to hunt. Um, oh, even a score. <laughs> my training is to search for cattle, not men. Well, if he was a cow, I would have found him by now. <laughs> All right, so Ann and Cyrus, uh, the other two have kind of walked off to check out that bush at the far end of the camp. Uh, what are you guys doing? Drinking. <laughs> you drinking already? Yeah. He's already. He's by the fire, so he might as well drink. Yeah. What, 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 I'm drinking. Ann, get your get your pretty behind down here and take a look around this bush. See if you can find anything. <clears throat> Ann. Oh, she's moved a little bit. Yeah, no, I was there. Good. You are okay. Yeah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> she takes issue with you uh, <laughs> making reference to her behind. Gentlemanly. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, my, I'm my sorry. Being very Ooh. annoying. What happened to your character? Rotated on accident. <laughs> <laughs> my computer is <laughs> not behaving you... very well oh, today. Here, I, can, I can move you down. Are you going to go and check it out as well? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and roll observation and uh, treat it as if your ability was three roll less. Roll low. Yeah, as low as you can. Safe. This game is uh, a one is a crit success, a 20 is a, well, a possible crit success, and a 20 is a, a possible crit failure. So they did something interesting in this. Uh, if anybody ever played fourth edition Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you had to mm-hmm. confirm your crit. This game did it first. <laughs> you have to confirm a uh, a crit fail or a crit success. Oh, and uh, and and uh, Kim, you can click on the uh, observation, the little die button next to the observation on your character sheet. Now this yeah, cool. yeah, I so, totally forgot what I was rolling for. <laughs> and that's observations. Why I was like, what in the world Sorry. is this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean you told me, and then I just kind of went blank. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, did it roll? Uh, I'm not uh, seeing it. Did you get? Oh, okay. did you get a pop-up window saying modifier? I did not. So I'll just roll a regular. Oh, Ooh, twenty! Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so here, this is where the rule comes in. Okay, it's a possible crit failure. All right, so uh, look at your luck stat uh, and roll another d twenty. Okay, let me find it. It's uh, it's the last attribute and under, under the yeah. primary attributes. Got it. Jesus clicked the button and rolled. I did, and it's still it's not. not. It's, oh, it's like, uh, we oh, talked about this before you came on. What browser are you using? It's Chrome. Oh, it should be fine in Chrome. Chrome too. Yeah. It's probably just my computer. 
There it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you fail the roll. Let's see. Yep. So in this game, as I was saying, you have to confirm your crits. Um, <clears throat> so you make a luck check. If you if you make the luck check and it's a critical critical success, you get the critical success. Um, if you fail the luck check and it is a critical failure, then you get the critical failure. In this case, you get the critical failure. And what this means to your character is you are absolutely positive you see a trail that doesn't belong to the men. The, you think the boots are just extra. So you are you came here originally, you said, because of the, the woman's uh, store that's opening up that has some of the best fashions around. Yeah. Right? So you, yes. you're, you know fashion. And you're convinced that there's one set of prints here from shoes that are, you know, $100 pair of shoes. <laughs> Very expensive pair of shoes. And that's got to be the banker. And you're con- you sure you're absolutely that, convinced. <laughs> okay. Yes, sure. Yeah, we will follow them. <laughs> They're from the fall collection, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Italian, yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah. It's all curiosity. What's your, what's your, what is your luck? Five. See, the best you can have in this game is ten. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's what it is. I just wrote it down wrong. No, no. You, yeah. So I know I rolled it, and I have all my numbers. No, written. you're good. You, and your luck may very well have been a five. The highest you could possibly have is a ten. So oh. yeah, I think it's fine. It's a five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, five's fine. Yeah, just me and Wes are the ones that are the luckiest, and even the, we will fail more like 40, uh, we'll succeed our rolls 45% of the time, thereabouts. Mm-hmm. Um, Cyrus, did you bring your own booze, or did you just find some booze? Well, I always bring my own booze, but I probably found some too, so I'm... <laughs> I'm using the found booze first. Okay, so you're looking oh. around. Of course, the big did you tent. Find, did you find it in the good tent, or did you find one of the other tents? I, it was on the ground. Okay, yeah, so somebody just dropped a flask, and you found it. I just found it. Yeah, so you're assuming... I that, wasn't stealing from someone's tent, no. Yeah. So you're assuming this tent must be Mr. Polk's tent, since it's, uh, yeah. it's the yep. largest tent. Uh, it looks to be made the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's actually it looks a bit like one, like one of them. Their safari tents. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they're all gone and I'm left alone by this tent, they're they're not that far away. Uh, this clearing is is not as large. We as are the... behind a couple of tents over here. I mean, yeah. the only person who can probably see him is is Wes, and Wes don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm I might have to take a gander. Yeah. Okay. Might find some that you know aids bourbon in there. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Well, if you want to, if you want to pop into his tent, uh, give me an observation check. All right. Survey says. Ooh, you did okay. not succeed. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's a mess. Uh, it almost looks to you like a struggle might have happened here. Hmm. Uh, there's like a really nice feather mattress in the middle of the floor. There's some fancy candelabras uh, and some really nice smelling candles that haven't been lit yet. There's like a steamer trunk or a, like an expedition trunk. Um, I will give you that. It looks like somebody just like took a thick piece of metal and just kind of jimmied it open. And it it's mostly empty. There's some clothing in there, but uh, it's obvious that somebody broke open that chest. Hmm. Don't see um, any tracks or anything on the ground? Not really. Not with that roll. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the and the the tents uh, got a bottom to it, so it's not like just bare ground anyway. Right. Um, right. There is like a a little bar set up. A uh, little travel bar. Uh, most oh. of the liquor, most of the liquor is uh, gone, but there's a little bottle of uh, green liqueur. Oh, absinthe! You yeah. found some absinthe. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what the hell that is, but it looks good. <laughs> well, okay, you know. No, you hold like on, black? hold on, John. <laughs> so, do you yeah. drink it? <laughs> hell yeah. Okay, uh, it is the most bitter uh, thing you've ever tasted in your life. Um, it, it, it's fairly strong, but you, 
just the the bitterness in your mouth it's just overwhelming you feel like you're gonna retch <laughs> it's jägermeister oh my god yeah <laughs> oh, jägermeister tastes good in comparison <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. I was in, I was stationed in, I went to Crete for a live fire ex exercise one time, and we had Uzo. I, Uzo is basically clear Jägermeister. Yeah. And it's the horror, I, I hate, I hate it. It's black licorice on steroids. Yep. I hate it. Have you, have you ever had absinthe? though there's a reason why you yes, pour it over there's a reason why you pour it over sugar cubes <laughs> i have had absence myself yeah yeah yes yes uh, we actually have two distilleries here in seattle hmm. anyway uh so you happen upon his stash which looks like uh either he was a heavy drinker himself or someone else has uh partaken of his stash leaving only behind this nasty green liqueur but it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to drink it, right? Right. Yeah. So this is going on while Anne has found what she's absolutely positive is a trail of a rich man's shoe. All right. All right. Well, go yell. Hey! Actually, that's out the west. He's the one in charge. You going to yell at him to get his butt down here? Or are you just, or are you, just you know, a townie? <clears throat> Wes. Yep. <clears throat> so are you rounding uh are you rounding up Bill's character or are you just leaving him back there? These guys the other two look like they're about to go off into the woods following a trail. Fine uh, about Cyrus. Do you go in the tent? Uh, coming, coming. I'll I'll down what I can of the absence and then hurry on. Oh. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's horrible. Have another shot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mount up while you can still I, see out both eyes. Yeah, I mean, it is 50% by value. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's all? Yeah. The Everclear's gone, man. Oh, <laughs> uh. All right, well, I'm, I'm mosey on down after I down um, what i can and then uh you don't know anything about the inside of that tent. I, I, I guess no one no one's looked in that tent so yeah it's gonna be a surprise for us yes good all right cyrus yeah, so you come out mount your yeah. horse uh who wants to so ann's pointed out the trail so you folks can She's see it now. i saw it i'm gonna let her take point i mean okay. you know i hired her you know i'm gonna see how good she is all right uh so ann <laughs> give me a tracking roll <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she have tracking. Yeah, which I don't think she's got any points in though. Mm. It's still possible well, to succeed if you roll a one. <laughs> there's a track, it's scouting, I think it is. There's a tracking. No, skill. There, there's tracking. It's it's in the last yeah. column on the right. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, I mean, wow, that's that's Ooh. nice and low, but not low enough for a zero. But I mean, again, you're you're positive. Trail goes that way. Yeah, on my horse. All right. So, kind of give me an idea of who's uh, what your uh, marching order is here. I'm going to move your tokens out to the middle and just kind of arrange them in you know loosely. Who's in front? Who's in the middle? Who's in the rear? I'm going to be riding like by her side. I imagine uh, Ann Burris is in the front as uh, she's tracking. Mm -hmm. uh, tracking, a skill I would have taken if I didn't have to get both cow handling and wrangling. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm good. I'm good at tactics. So, you know, totally, I don't do, I don't track. I'm good at scouting, though. Yep. But this ain't scouting. Did you, uh, do you know what, uh, what tactics does for you? I actually did read it up. Yeah, so yeah, you you when when we do initiative, you make a tactics check. If you pass it, you get a plus one to your initiative. It's the only thing that gives you a modifier to initiative. I think doesn't it give you some other things too for like yep. uh, ending others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will cow handling and wrangling be at all handy? I uh, think not. Oh, well, no, <laughs> it might be. Uh, it very well might be. I'm really good at both. <laughs> Cyrus, you mount your burrow. No, it's just a shame all those cows have died in dysentery lately. <laughs> <laughs> or do you have yourself your Shetland? 
Everybody has a horse of some sort. Everybody has a horse. Yeah, I imagine I have a little bit of trouble getting on there. That was some nasty liquor, but uh, yeah, I make it down there. You're also short too. You know, I remember being a kid trying to get on a horse when I was a kid. It's kind of hard. I'm not short. I am size challenged. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say nothing. Yeah. Some so cultures, he would be West. considered a tall man. So you could be next west there. <laughs> Come along, Cyrus. I'm All right, there we go. All right, so you basically, you guys are running side by side, following this trail that Anne has found. So it goes, yeah. uh, it goes deeper into uh, grassland. This is kind of a plains area, uh, interrupted here and there <laughs> by copses of trees. There's not like a deep forest here. Uh, they're just like small copses. The trees don't get much it's, more it's, than it's prairie. And at some point, it's just simply people <clears throat> to scrub at some point. Right. Uh, but Anne's kind of leading you, veering more and more off to the left a little bit, and uh, you're heading towards a low rise of uh, like rubble, uh, like a beginning of a small hill that doesn't rise very far. <clears throat> Does anybody in the group have tracking? Nope. Oh, I, I mentioned I, I couldn't afford it after <laughs> okay. and wrangling. So yeah, so uh and and roping and riding. Well, Cyrus has tracking. Do what? Tracking. You have it. Nope. 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 Okay, yeah. So we yeah. all following in. Um, yeah. you're starting as you're getting closer to this low hill uh, off to the left. You're also starting to hear the trickle of like a, a small creek. Uh, just a very small body of water. And as uh, you're getting closer, you do see uh, some deer uh, in the distance, uh, head down, drinking out of this water. And uh, your horses, as you're coming across the prairie, uh, do they look up, they startle, and they run off. Oh, whoa, us on them? whoa there, whoa there. Are we on them? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I never can got I, off my horse. But... Can I control my horse? <laughs> No, your horse is fine. You're, you're not there. It's far enough in the distance that it doesn't. Oh, it's the deer that run. It's the away. deer that run, not your horses. Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that was a mind confusing, Bert. Yeah. You need to put an Oxford comma in there, Bert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, you come to where the deer were uh, drinking, and and uh, you've lost the trail at this point because the trail seems to cross this small creek. Uh, but in the creek is a body laying face down. Body is not dressed in particularly good clothing, uh, buckskin, uh, boots, and uh, you know, it looks like a a tracker or maybe a furrier. Uh, he does got like a, one of those uh, fur caps on. Do I recognize him? Uh, he's face down in the water. I'm I'm pulled up as a deputy. Do your job. One of your people. How do you know that? Could be Mr. Poop. As I dismount and walk over to do, you know, his job for him. <laughs> no, your job is to deal with dead bodies. I no, it's doubt- not. That's. Do I look like an undertaker? You kind of do. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. Kind of act <laughs> like one. Hmm. All right. So you. Turn the body over, and it's not a townie, uh, but you know the type. Uh, there, there are trappers that come down every once in a while. Once they got a good load to sell the furs in town, they usually drink for several nights before the pour again and go back out into the wilderness. So you don't know the person in particular, but you again, you know the type. It, it's one of the trappers that come into town on occasion. How dead is he? Is he uh, dead? He's definitely dead, and looks like his throat's been ripped out. And I don't mean cut with a knife. I mean ripped out. Animal. Is he uh, horribly bloated from being in the river? No. Uh, he has not been uh, in this position for long. Hmm. Uh, I'll get off my horse and, wa- and wade into the water all of a sudden. It's like, grab a little arm. This is our move. Uh, yeah, rigor has not set in or rigor has passed. I go back to my horse and pull out my rifle and make sure it's loaded. Okay, there's someone out here. Something out here. Maybe a bear. 
Maybe a lion. Maybe. Lion. Well, get out your rope. Let's tie him to the horse and drag him back to town. Your horse? Okay. Once he says there might be a lion out here, I'm definitely getting out my long barrel revolver and go, where? Where is it? Where is it? Sadly, none of us are trappers or, or trackers. We can't tell if that was a, a lion, a mountain lion slash, or a bear slash. I'm good. Don't, don't rightly think it's either. Bear, if anything. Mm. Mountain lion might properly ambush a person, yeah. but it's not likely to just leave that person to rot. Only the throat's been torn out. Uh, Steven, do you happen to have the survival skill? I do not, but that's just knowledge. Okay. <laughs> would, you like, I'm gonna, would you like to I'm roll gonna it say, anyway and say and see if maybe you get lucky? Sure, I'm going to say that's cow handling knowledge, as mountain lions will ambush a cow. No. <laughs> uh, no it's survival, <laughs> lad. Actually, there is no survival skill. Yes, there is. It's there on the right-hand side. <clears throat> Oh, way up there. Oh, nope, wow. That's a critical failure. Okay, I, I so uh, make a luck check. I did. Oh, you actually made it. Okay, uh, so it is not a critical failure. Uh, yeah, you're not. You're sure some animal must have done this because the wound is really tattered. And maybe even that's some saliva around the side there, like something chewed the throat. You have no idea what's large enough to do that. So you figure, like like you said, probably a bear. Bear would be big enough. Yeah. The only there? thing confusing to me is the bears don't normally use their jaws as their primary weapon. <laughs> now, while you guys are talking, though... Yeah. I am looking around. Ooh, though. Okay, let me see. Hold on. So uh, I rolled a d3 to see who's getting shot. <laughs> and I rolled a one, uh, which is just from my my window down. That's you, John. Uh, oh. Yeah. So hold on. Uh, let me see if you hit or not. Uh, this is a D three when there are four of us. Strange. Yeah. Well, one of you was not possible to hit just by where he's shooting from. Uh, so. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is ex well. This is long range for his gun. So minus two. Nobody's moving since you're kind of bent over and looking. He's not moving. He's mm -hmm. sniping, which makes it uh, even up. Uh, what a boot hill. <laughs> okay, so he is going to hit you. Oh, uh, yeah, so you guys hear the crack of a rifle, and then Ugh! as uh, <laughs> you take a round, and let's find out where you're hit. Uh, and he uh, rolls a new character. <laughs> Is it a serious wound or is it a light wound or is it? How is damage determined? Yep, that's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing you determine is uh, where you're hit. Uh, so roll a d20 for me, John. We'll leave it in your own hands. <laughs> All right. There, that way the GM can't be uh, blamed for your death since you're rolling the dice. <laughs> Yeah. That's Which how that works, that? right? That's how that works. Three. Where What's is that? The head? It's a leg. So, like, yeah, uh, you your right leg buckles as you guys hear the crack of a rifle shot. Oh. All What's right, the now, head? now, now, roll a d6. This is the severity of the wound, and it's plus one because of the rifle that he's using. So uh, it's a d6 plus one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh! All right, it's a mortal wound. <laughs> so he hit a he... Oh, yes. he shot me in the thigh. Yes, right. and he, he nicked and, and severed an artery. Yep. So that's a severe wound. Oh wow! Serious wound. So I get one one serious wound. No, that's uh, you rolled a six, right? Oh, yeah. A six is a mortal wound. <laughs> so you're bleeding out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me check something real quick. That does not mean that you're you're dead. It just just means you're dying. Yeah. Well, I drop my rifle and I fall in, you know, and I fall to the ground. I'm, we're going to assume that I'm on the beach of, on the shore of the river, so I'm just fall down. Ah, Jesus! Grabbing my leg. Ah. 
shot me on the inner thigh. Wait, no, right, shot so, me yeah. so, okay, so for wounds, uh, so like, like you, see, you see here, the gun that you shoot with only makes the roll worse. So, like, even a Derringer can kill somebody, which I like. I like that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The certain guns, like this rifle, uh, adds to the severity roll, but that's how you get wounded. And you're either going to take a light, a moderate, um, light, uh, serious, and mortal. So you can never be killed by light wounds or serious wounds. They just degrade your ability to do anything. Mortal yeah. wounds are what kill you. Yep. Yeah, so when uh, when you take a mortal wound, you're not killed automatically. Yeah. All right, so make a luck check. Okay, so I'm rolling my luck. Yep. Luck be a lady tonight. Yes, luck is a lady tonight. You do not die. <laughs> right, not so it nicks. It nicks, uh, it nicks your artery. Uh, but you, you know, you, you reach down, you slap your hand over it and you just kind of hold, you're keeping yourself from bleeding out is essentially what's going on here. Do I take any wound points? Yes. Just one. Just one. Yeah. Wow. You have a limit of 10. I have a limit of 10 because that's how I, uh, yeah. the wound, the wound points though, just tell you how much you're disadvantaged on dice. You don't die from wound points. you you die from having a mortal wound. Yeah, so I uh, luckily I, I only took one. All right, so what happens if you make your luck check? Uh, the wound is reduced to a light wound instead, and it causes the one point of damage. So now you just, just turn that mortal wound into a light wound. So you have a light wound with one point of damage. Ah, uh, so a one light wound. There we go. There we yep. go. But uh, yeah, you're you go down and you're just holding on to where that thing, where it nicked you, and you're just, you know, holding it down. And it was just a nick, uh, so you're able to, you know, just wrap something around that hole to keep it from bleeding out. Yeah. So, yeah, so how do you guys react? Uh, it was, uh, that that shot was, it sounded fairly far away. So you look yeah. up, and of course, you're right next to these hills, these rocky hills that are off to your left. So basically... The scenario is I fall to the ground going, Jesus, and yeah. then you hear the shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, my. grab your guns and take cover. Mm -hmm. yeah, so how are you taking cover? Uh, so the hills are an elevated to your left. You've got planes all around you. You could dive into the river, but unless you actually hid, head towards the hills, there's nothing to take cover from. Or no rocks with. around the river. If Any if you places? cross the river and get to the hills, then yes, there are. But on this side of the river, there are there's nothing. It's just flat prairie. At least close. Strange yeah. river. Uh, <laughs> Any bushes or trees? Uh, if you go back some, sure, but not right next to the river. No, it's not really a river. It's uh, a stream. It's just like a trickle. Let's it's see. deep enough the body floats, yeah. Yep. Just enough. Uh, I want to uh, do a running mount to my horse and to take off to some cover, the yep. nearest tree line, and uh, when I get a better look at where the guy's shooting from, because my back was turned. I didn't see where the shot is. That That's awesome. Paper. Yeah, Wes jumps onto his horse, uh, just lickety-split, and is you know, slapping the leather on the side of the horse to get it to move to that last uh, sparse lot of trees that you just passed. Cyrus, what are you doing? Hey, am I too, I, I might be too short to jump on my horse. Can I tell where the shot came from? Up in the hills. That's all you know. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to jump on my horse and ride away anyway. No, you can. You, you don't have to okay. make a, yeah, you don't have to make a roll unless there's a lot at stake. And in this case, I'm going to say okay. no. Okay, so yeah, Cyrus gets on his horse and goes further away as well. Uh, Jasper, again, is on the ground <laughs> holding his leg. Uh, what are you doing, Anne? Yeah. Out of there as fast as I can. Okay, so everybody's leaving Jasper on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, because now they'll, they'll have a target. And you can all see where they're shooting from as Jasper. <laughs> oh, man. So... Uh, 
John, you're not impaired other than you know, you're going to take a, a negative to a roll, but you can do things. You're you're not incapacitated. So what are what yeah. are you doing? I, I heard the shot. Can yes, you I, did. Can I do an observation roll? To see, actually, can I use a scouting roll to see if I can spot where it came from? Uh, scouting. Hold on. I don't know if the scouting can be used that way. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I, I'm not sure either. So otherwise, it's straight observation. Scout no, list. Me. Well, let's let's look at it because we we need to know what the individual things. Yeah, do. the ability to so move through things. unknown or enemy territory, gather use information, and return safely. But oh, yeah. So the answer no, is no. No, it sure, would be observation. observation. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm better actually at observation. So let me just do observation. Nope. Jeez. No. Ah, I'm looking yeah. around. Ah, you know, right. you know, from since you got pegged in the leg and you're an experienced gunfighter, how long it was between that and hearing the shot. It's at a distance. Likely, it's at the the, the peak of those hills. Yeah. But so you don't I'm know. Getting... You can't tell anything more, uh, uh, you know, extreme than that. Now that was your action, making a skill. Yeah, roll. yeah. I'm laying on my back. Uh, okay, so you're down. laying on your back and looking. Okay. Yeah, I'm grabbing my rifle again. I got okay. one hand on the wound, and it's like I ain't walking no 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 time soon unless I get bandaged around this damn wound. So yeah, one hand's hold, one hand's holding my leg, and the other hand's holding the rifle. The wrong hand, of course. You know, actually no. Let me roll. Let me see. Was it right or left? It was your right leg that was hit. If that matters, that that's that what the case, roll said. My right yeah. hand holding the, holding the wound closed. I got my my rifle in my left hand. You know, it's like yeah, all right. Just leaning back and just looking up at the hill, but I ain't seeing anything yet. Right. Uh, okay, everybody else has ru uh, ridden away to cover. You just passed the copse of trees coming up this way. So you all are kind of, you head for that. Uh, you all see Jasper still on the ground out there. He looks, you know, he's rolled over onto his back and he's looking up at the hills. Okay. Uh, did run into cover take me further away from the shooter or closer? Further away, further away. All right. Uh, assuming I get there. And not shot in the back or something. Oh, you get there. Uh, yeah. Uh, I pull up short. Well, right after the trees or whatever. Pull up. Uh, fly myself uh, off the saddle. Uh, drawing my rifle at the same time. Okay. That probably takes my whole action. Yep. Uh, we're out of action turns just yet. Uh, we're just kind of okay. in descriptive time. Then so that's I'm... what you do. Um, it, but let's see what everyone else is doing. Cyrus, you also got on your horse went to this copse of trees what are you doing other other than just getting there well once i get there i'm gonna see if i can tell where the shot's coming from okay uh same thing i'm gonna say since you actually didn't look right away and you're looking now there's just no chance of you i mean you um, can use your mind to figure it must have been high up to hit him in the leg I'll, that, I'll just yell at jasper hey you might want to get out of there <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> Anne, what are you doing? Yeah, I was gonna see if I could figure out where the shot came from too, but again, yeah, same thing. Unless you yeah. had turned right when it happened, no chance, no chance of seeing anything at this point. All right, uh, so I'm gonna take another shot. <laughs> uh, okay, give me just a second here. Uh, Because there are modifiers for you being prone. Yeah, lying flat on a on a on a on a riverbank, maybe at an angle that's not conducive for him yep. to see me. Really. Minus five. Ooh, that's good. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have a minus five to this shot. Well, that's good. So he's going to miss. So this time, all of you are looking. So everybody can make me an observation roll again. Ooh. So you guys hear another crack uh, ring out. Uh, Jasper, to your left, It's uh, it, he's about two feet off. Yeah, but dirt sprays in my face, so yeah. I really don't see anything. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Tim makes it. This is a base, no modifier, so you just need to roll less than your observation skill. Anyone? Uh, looks like uh, looks like Anne missed that. Uh -huh. Um, observation skill, you say? Yeah, well, the observation attribute. Observation the, the attribute. Oh, Cyrus missed by one. Okay. Well, it's up to you, Wes. 
I have not yet rolled. Let's see. Uh, observation, go. Uh, submit. You see I it. Think yes. I uh, you see. You see the. Uh, you see the. The ignition. Muzzle flash. Yeah, the muzzle flash, and you see just a quick plume of smoke. So you you kind of got about where the ambusher is, and you also see uh, as your as your eye is drawn to that location, they drop. Like they shoot and drop, so you see them drop. So you got an idea where they are, but they've taken cover after that shot. Perfect. Uh, then I'm going to take my, if I still have a turn, uh, I'm going to take my turn aiming at that spot. Okay, yes, uh, you can definitely do that. That gives you a, a modifier. But the question is, they were already firing at long range. So what is your extreme range? At my extreme range is 400, I believe. Yes. Uh, what's your medium range then? 100. It's going to be extreme, but yeah, you could make that shot. Mm, go ahead, do my best to do it. Okay, so uh, you get plus two for sniping. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see what else I can possibly give you. It's uh, extreme range, which is normally minus five, so it's minus three because of the uh, sniping. Um, you're not moving. You're stationary position. Okay, uh, that's the best we can do. There's nothing else you can take that'll that'll mm -hmm. affect this, unless your gun has a natural bonus. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Uh, Remington uh, guns. Don't think so. Okay, so you're going to be at a minus three. Okay, so uh, let's see. So he pops up, but, but let's see who actually gets to act first. Roll a d6. Do you have sure. tactics? I do not, so I'll roll a d6. I have a six. Okay. Is that good or bad? That's good. High is good. Uh, they also have a six, so we re-roll. This one, this this initiative, you, you can't tie. You just roll it out again. So a four <gasps> and a six. So he goes first. So he's going to get off another shot, but then you can shoot him. That's okay. He's shooting at Jasper. He is shooting at Jasper. He's uh, at minus five to shoot at Jasper. Right. But he rolled pretty damn good for, for minus five. Minus five. Nope, he's still going to miss. Dirt it's closer. Uh, he's only like uh, half a foot off this time. Right between the legs, half a foot down. <laughs> so now uh, he's popped up, and uh, before he can dive uh, under, you can go ahead and take a shot. So shots happen first, then movement happens. So he doesn't get that chance to drop down and cover, and you can take your shot. I will be rolling that shot. Let's see. No modifier. Or you said nine, it's negative three. minus three. three, but don't put it in the roll. Would that be a plus three then? No, because it matters what you roll. Okay. So you, we, what happens is you just treat the skill as being three lower, but not the roll itself. Uh, I rolled a 14. My shooting skill is one, I guess. Yes, but you add your coordination. In this case, you add, since you're taking a measured shot... Um, I think it's full. Let me check real quick. Careful well, shot is full. Oh no, no, it's extreme range. Uh, it's a. What is your what is your uh, coordination? coordination? Yeah. Eighteen. Am I like adding the coordination modifier? Or so just you get a score? quarter. It's a quarter of that. A quarter of that. Uh. Oh wait, the shots here so are five. Like, uh, careful, steady, yeah. hip shot, fan shot. Yeah, so you're taking uh, a careful shot because you were you were getting ready for him to pop up. That says 18. But it's yeah, it's extreme range, so it's uh, it's a quarter of that 18, or is oh, 18? Know, right? Yeah, so that's a five plus your one, and your skill is a six. So you rolled a 14 versus a six, which is a miss. Yeah. Yep, and it's mostly because of the range. You would have pegged it if you were closer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But now, so, about now, he thinks Jasper shoot him back. I think. Yep. Oh, he sees me on the ground holding my leg and the rifle just moving back and forth. Oh, I'm Jasper gonna... and his uh, bloodbath uh, reputation. Yep. So Jasper missed the observation roll, so he can make another one now since he shot it, the no. guy shot again. Now I'm I'm grabbing my bandana and wrapping around my okay, leg. Okay, so you're uh, you're taking care of the wound so you don't uh, so you don't bleed yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
All right. So what are the rest of you doing? Uh, Ann and Wes? Or no, sorry, Ann and Cyrus? You can see me taking shots now. Yeah. If you guys want to make another observation check to see yeah. if you can see this guy. He does drop back down after you make your shot. But at this point, there's going to be, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's really bad. <laughs> I think people are shooting. Not sure. Roll yeah. your luck there, Cyrus. Yeah, roll your luck. <laughs> Putting Jasper out of his misery. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, so nope. you're faked out by a shadow, and you think he's uh, he's not, you, you're sure that he is in a place that he really isn't. But, that uh, drink, uh, <laughs> that drink does not help your aim. All right, how did Ann? Rules for intoxication. Yes. How did Ann do? Uh, if you want to make that observation roll for Ann. Woo. Oh, you made it. Okay, so you saw you saw the person drop down below the rock right before he did. So you're in the initiative now. Or at least you can do something in the initiative. Uh, so it's a new round of actions. Um, Kim, why don't you roll for your side? Do okay. either one of you guys have tactics? No. no. Actually, Bill, you're certain you have a target too. It's just the wrong target. So you're going to be yeah. part of this as well. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, so if he rolls a crit failure, can he potentially actually hit the person? <laughs> If he rolls a crit success, I would say maybe, but not a crit failure. <laughs> uh, no, okay. I'm sure that'll happen. Roll, roll a d6, Kim. Ooh, not oh, good. not good. Yep. Hey, well, <laughs> so he goes first. Um, oh, does everyone roll? or just No, Kim? just one person. It's by side. Ah. And that's what I was saying. If if any of the people he that the right saw person. the target has tactics, it would modify the initiative. But nobody he that shot saw the it. right person because I'm yeah. the person with tactics. Yeah, he's gonna take another shot at you. That's <laughs> five. So he pops up, takes a shot, dice is rolling. Oh, 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 oh shit! Crit. Uh, no, that's a crit that fail. Again. That's a crit fail. Uh, he Bring makes his he makes his luck roll though, so it's just a regular fail. Uh, but he yeah, pops he up. Did. Two of you guys can take a shot if you've got range on it. Uh, what kind of gun do you have, Ann? I have. What was that quick draw gun? Is it the Colt? Oh, you've got a pistol. I doubt you've got range. Nah. It's like two hundred yards away. So what's your extreme on that? It is. She's got like fifty or sixty. Yeah. yeah. I think ninety yeah. is the, or... the best for a pistol. Is ninety. I think. Yeah. So yeah, you don't. So you you know where the target is, and uh, but you know you're not going to be able to hit it at that range with your pistol. So you can, when movement comes around, you can do something else if you want. Well, yeah, I'm going to be getting up and getting behind my horse. Uh, anyway, if, if there's somebody with a better gun, if I can just kind of help them aim at them or something. I don't you, know. you would need a rifle to get on this kind of range. Uh, I don't and think rifle Cyrus. Skill. Yeah, and a rifle skill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cyrus, uh, well, both uh, Cyrus and Wes can go ahead and make shots. Uh, All right. Uh, Wes yeah. will make a shot. Uh, Kapow, Smith. I think I nailed you him. Ma you nailed him that time. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and roll this out. Um, yeah. Hit him in the leg. Up. Oh, you did that? We don't know. But do you got a wound severity modifier on that gun? Uh, it doesn't say I do. Then, yeah, you don't. Uh, three. Serious wound. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, you hear him. Uh, right before he drops. Uh, I, I clearly hit the rock face in front of him, and some shrapnel hit him in the leg. Yeah. <laughs> Cyrus, what kind of gun do you have? Uh, I have a lever action carbine. Oh, so you have a rifle. Go ahead and take a shot because you've got range. No, it's, it's extreme range is two hundred, so he's in extreme range. He's extreme, yeah. yeah, he's uh, yeah. So I mean, I just click the thing just, by the rifle. Yeah, that that that's why that's fine. You just need to roll a d twenty, and that'll do it. Okay, I mean, I rolled right there. Seven. All right. So, what is your coordination? 
Uh, my coordination is 19. Uh, so a quarter of that plus two. two. No, that's still a miss. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's just too. It's just too far range. Just too far range. Yeah. Round, up, round up. Round down on those. Uh, round up. <laughs> round down. So okay, five. So you gotta do a four or less. Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay. Yeah. So you guys shoot at two entirely different targets, but you may not notice that. Uh, next is movement. His movement was to drop down, so he's done his movement. I am uh, going to leave my horse in nice cover and Ooh, okay. steadfastly walk forward while aiming my rifle. Okay, mm -hmm. so in the system, walking other than just moving, uh, like getting closer, does nothing for you as far as changing the modifiers to being shot at or shooting. Yeah, it changes range, if anything. It just but changes I'm range. Not going, I'm not going to walk uh, some... 200 yards i think to make it <laughs> so you're not uh, i just need to know you're walking and you're not evading or running or anything like that that that's all i needed to know correct yeah okay uh so yeah, yeah you're walking I, forward I, I, i'm doing walking forward like a i don't know a musket line <laughs> <laughs> yeah Meanwhile, i'm grabbing the barrel of my rifle of my carbine using it as a as as a cane and i'm Trying to get, get get up to my horse so I can be behind my horse and start walking toward cover. So I'm using my horse's cover. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You do that. Uh, so on foot, uh, you walk six yards uh, per turn. So yeah, you're just kind of leading your horse away. The horse is between you and the hills. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's if fine. I, if, I, if I can get to a point, I mean, I can see over the back of my horse. So yeah. you know what? Lee, yeah. What's it if I can lay my rifle on the back of my horse on the saddle, so I have a a, a tripod? <laughs> yeah, shooting with that. That would be taking that would be taking a careful shot. You have to brace against something for careful, so that would be considered a careful shot. Yep. So, uh, but you I, don't you don't have a target though. You never saw him. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking. So, yeah. so you can't yep. snipe, um, but you can shoot yep. if you do end up seeing him all right yeah. so wes is walking forward uh he's got his gun out left his horse behind and what are you doing probably staying put for now you're gonna stay put okay so yeah you know your pistols don't have the range um but you also know that you're probably pretty safe where you are uh his range isn't very good at this distance either yeah cyrus how about you um, I, I'm, if I still think he's over there, I'm still taking a shot. <laughs> you do. <laughs> All right. But yeah. uh, this is the movement phase. So you're just staying put then. Um, can I get closer and get behind cover? Or? This is the, cl this is the closest cover you have. If you move, you have no cover. Yeah, I mean, the only other cover is to use your horse. Yeah. Like I'm doing. <laughs> no, I'll probably stay there then. Nice horse. That does let you shoot about it. Okay. Uh, next round, then let's go ahead and have John roll the d6 for your side. Uh, John, you still don't know where where the shooter is, so you can't use your tactics. So oh, just a poo. d6. Ah, poo. Trey, you guys go first. Mm. Okay, so which means he has complete cover though, because he hasn't had the chance to pop up. Yeah, I'm looking. All right, so you're moving, horse is in front of you, uh, between you yeah. and the mountains. So you're you're moving as you're looking. Okay. Rifle is is braced on the back of the on the saddle, looking up in that direction. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking up that way, see if I can spot spot him. Right. Let me see something real quick. I wonder if you can delay shooting. Let me let me just check that real quick. Hold in action. Probably not. Old game. Hmm. Actually, no, you can hold action in... No, it, you can hold movement, but I don't know if you can hold shooting. That's what I'm checking on. Uh, Fine. Hold. Uh, 33 incursion. 33, uh, 33 occur occurrences of, sh of hold. <laughs> you see? So two targets shoot out. Actions. Here we go. 
Um, Cover, reloading, not fighting. They don't have anything on holding actions for shooting. Yeah, other than being careful with your shots. <sighs> holding a shooting contest. <laughs> they, they have that. <laughs> oh. That was page 23 for gunfights. Let me look up delay. You can switch targets between turns. Okay. Ah, uh, nope. You, 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 okay. So they, they do actually state you, you can't hold a shooting action. You can delay movement until someone else moves. Like for instance, um, mm -hmm. if he wanted to, uh, let's say, you know, he wanted to wait until someone did something else and he didn't want to take his movement action, but then wants to use it right before someone does something else. You could do that, but you cannot yeah. hold shooting unless you are, uh, sniping. But since yeah. you're walking, you can't snipe. Yep. So you gotta I'm be stationary. Walking. Yeah. So basically I'm just keeping an eye open. So yeah. Okay. So my shooting, my shooting round is basically doing nothing yeah. at this point. So Wes, um, if you wanted to pause and wait for him to pop up, uh, that would you could take uh, an action to do sniping, but you can't move if you're trying to snipe. Oh, then I'll try to snipe him, I suppose. Okay, so you kind of I jump wait. at him some, but uh... yeah. So you stop, you wait for him to pop up. Uh, so in which case he, you know. Uh, he pops up, and you can go ahead and take your oh, do shot. The, do, the, do the others move? Are, are, is uh, is Cyrus or Anne moving, or are you keeping put? No, they're keeping put, they said. So. I think I nail him. You nail him. Yeah, you sure do. All right, let's see here. I'm not Ooh. a gunslinger, but I know how to shoot straight. Oh, wow. That's going to be nasty. Oh. All right, 17. Oh. Is that a cerebellum? That's a chest. It takes a chest shot. Oh, Oh, it's a light wound. Okay. I thought I was supposed to roll that D6, sir. If you want to, go ahead. I'll let you roll it. It's, yeah, it's the same thing. A light wound regardless. Well, I, I can do an observation so you know yes, where you can. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, nope. nope. You still, it's, 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 he's fast and it's, uh, it's up higher than your, your plane yeah. was. Um, go ahead and make your shot, Bill. You're shooting at something entirely different, but go ahead and make your shot. I'd yell at this fella, but, you know, we're like 100 yards away. You ain't yep. hearing me from that far. Right. Hold on now. You can, just, you can just do a slash roll d20. You really don't have to do anything more than All that. Right. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to miss just because you're at a, a large range. But I tell you what does happen. Uh, you go wide. You see the shadow of something moving, and uh, it's uh, the uh, the enemy's turn now. And that shadow rises up on its back legs. There's a gigantic brown bear that you uh, <laughs> saw the shadow of. It's up in the hills. So you have outed your target as being a large brown bear. Well, well good thing I found it. Yep. Uh, Kenamoto, yeah. you still didn't catch the observation, so you still don't see uh, the sniper. Yeah. Look around. Well, I'm gonna count, take account of that because I got pain and and I'm I was looking a little bit low, too low, and yep. now I'm looking up, going, what, what, what? Okay. So, Anne, uh, you're holding back. Uh, you don't have a weapon that can reach that far, but you just see uh, Cyrus has uh, uncovered a bear on that mountainside, but you're pretty sure the bear is not doing the shooting. <laughs> it's a very talented bear. It's a very talented bear. It's a circus bear. He's got a Gatlin cannon back there, actually. He's just ready to unload that. Now, I'm not one to, to speak out of turn, but, you know, your boss is sitting there behind a horse, his <laughs> leg is bleeding, and you're sitting over there nice, nice and safe and cover, undercover, you know. Just saying. Her, well, that would be yeah. her boss's fault for not giving her a rifle. <laughs> 
we'll have to remedy that when we get back to town. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right. So, yeah, his move in is just drop back down. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, new round. Let's go ahead and have Steven roll a d6. Uh, you still haven't seen him, John, so still no tactics. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. Roll. Five. Uh, Wes did uh, well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Same thing, Wes. Uh, you can wait for him to pop up and take a shot. Cyrus, stop borrowing trouble and shoot the man with the gun. Uh, so uh, I do just that while I'm telling okay, so, Cyrus not to borrow yeah. trouble. So during the shooting phases, you don't shoot, uh, which comes to the other side. So what happens is um, it's not like uh, like old school Dungeons & Dragons where the side takes all of their actions and then the other side gets their actions. So in this game, shooting happens first. So your shooting happens, and then their shooting happens, and then your move happens, and then their move happens. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you pass on your shooting, which means it goes to their shooting. Because uh, uh, they weren't up yet. Right. So he he pops up and is going to take a shot. You now take your movement to interrupt that, and you can take your shot. And this does take the place of your movement later. Well, let's uh, attempt to shoot him then. Yep, you're closer now, and uh, you are technically sniping, uh, so it's I'd say minus two instead of minus three. Uh, well, I rolled a seven. Okay, does that work? I think that misses. I'm at a quarter, right? I need you're a at five. a quarter, yeah. Yeah. And then minus three from that. Okay, so 18 but. is nine, at a rounding up is five, minus three is basically I need yeah. two or so, whatever. Yeah, until you get closer, you're 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 still gonna be at penalties for the range. So yeah, you get close but you miss. Uh it's turn. You have moved some, John, uh, which is gonna increase yeah, but, his penalty. And I ha- I'm behind a horse. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give you cover for that, but it's not it's actually it's not called cover in this. Uh so cover means that you cannot be seen and it and you cannot be shot. Uh so you're getting some Oh, I forget the word. Yeah, that they my use, legs yeah. and my head are—it's my legs and my heads are invisible, but you still can shoot through the horse. Right. So that's the difference. Like if you can shoot through it, it's called something else. But if you actually have hardened cover, you can't be shot through it. Yeah. Uh, so that rock that he's dropping behind. Um, yeah. All right. So here we go. Uh, so I'm gonna roll the d20. Ooh, I think that's still gonna miss though. Extreme mm-hmm. range now. He's got wounds. Got- yeah, the wound penalties are definitely going to kill it. He's not going to be able to do much with the wound penalties. So uh, another I, shot rings out. I can do an observation. Yes, Maybe you can. see some bitch this time. I see that son of a bitch. Yeah, you see him <laughs> right before he drops back down. Um, well, I don't know, Cyrus. You're going to keep shooting at that bear now that you know it's a bear and not an armed well, bear, as I far as you can tell. Guy, like, I know this is dumb as shit, but. Uh... You can make another observation roll to have seen him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to make an observation roll first because I've got a plan. I'm not saying it's a good plan. Yeah, I'll give you a plus one since you've seen where Wes has been shooting at and that yeah. it's like right. It's not in the same place you've been shooting at all. Uh, so, uh, no, nah, that's still going to miss. So, you know the general area that Wes has been shooting at, but you did not catch the guy dropping. I just want to get on my horse and ride towards him. Yep, there you go. Me. Jump on the horse and you're going to yeah. close in. Uh, Anne, are you still staying behind cover, or do you want to do something? Uh, I don't know. If there's, I I can just stay behind cover. <laughs> the whole way I'm going, I'm going. Ah! So, Jasper, do you want to? Uh, so now it's it's movement. So do you want to get to cover, or do you want to stay out where you are and uh, make a shooting perch well, in the back of the saddle? I'm angry. Someone shot me in the leg. Uh, I'm staying where I is, so I'm going to be making my tactics roll to see if I can get a, a bonus. <laughs> okay. So are, are you going to put your rifle over the saddle, though, and make a... Oh, yes. You know, okay. I'm being very careful. I know where that some bitch popped his head up. Okay. Yeah, next <laughs> mm-hmm. initiative round, then we'll have Bill roll a d6. And before you oh, do you, that, you, you, yes, John... Roll. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make your tactics roll. If you succeed, you can add a plus one to your initiative roll. Oh, yes. Okay, so add a plus one to that D6 roll. Six. Yeah, six. D6 plus one. He did. He rolled a five. So five. Five. Okay. five. Yeah, he beat. okay. Uh, yeah, so you beat him. Um, so you guys got a six. Uh, go ahead. 
Uh, same thing though. He dropped down, so you got to wait for him to pop back oh, up. I'm sniping. I'm sniping. I stopped right. moving. I'm sitting there aiming. Get my get my iron sure. sights lined up on top of that rock. <laughs> Damn, that's fine. So he pops up. Uh, you guys take shots. Both go ahead. Roll them. John, yeah. you are at not extreme range. You're closer, so you're going to be at um, long range. Uh, my long range is 90, so I'm still at extreme range. You're still at extreme range, yes. Okay, right. uh, Wes, I think you might be... What is your long range? Mine is 100, but I'd have to be back up next to Jasper at yeah, this Yeah, so you're still at extreme range yourself. So I'm rolling... Oh, yeah, that's boom. a miss. Yeah, that's a big miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I? I? Would you like me to take a shot? Go right ahead. <laughs> Six. Okay. Best does, shot in the bunch. Does that hit? Uh, uh, same it modifiers. By it misses by one. Ah, uh, oh, close, close. Then. What's okay. a careful shot? Give us again for a for a modifier. A careful shot is, uh, well, you're at extreme range, so it's a quarter of your coordination. So it adds a quarter of my coordination? Okay, no. Okay, so when you shoot, you use the you use your coordination status, which you have to roll under, okay? At extreme range, it's a quarter of that, and then you add however many points you've got in your rifle skill or your pistol skill. Five, six. Uh, so are we rounding up or down? Um. I'm not sure, so I'll give it to you in your favor. You can round up. Well, my, it's 18, half of which is 9, which half is 4.5, so mm. rounding up is 5. Half. My rifle skill is 1, so that is 6, it's equal which is equal to. That, is... That's a hit. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah I so. Careful, go... I thought careful gave you a. Oh, oh, I see. Type of shot, chance to hit careful is coordination. Oh, yeah. so if we just shot. Hip shot would be oh god. Yeah, hip don't shot is a fast out. shot. You don't ever you don't typically do a fan fire or hip shot in regular combat. Regular combat's either a steady shot or a careful shot generally. Well, yeah. let's see if I do him some harm. Yep. I do him some decent harm. Well, well, first of all, roll a d20. Oh, okay. See yeah. where you hit him. Yeah. See where you hit him. 10. Right shoulder, okay. And you rolled 3, another serious wound. I'm hitting him in the chest like okay. center mass, more um, or less. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's got, hold on. I don't think he can shoot anymore. Ooh, you shot him in the right shoulder, which one, is the shoulder you aim with your rifle. So, oh, God, one yeah. Is five. Uh, unless he's left handed. <laughs> rifle requires you to have two usable arms. Uh. <laughs> he can't shoot ha! back. Yeah, he can't shoot back anymore. <laughs> Burris, I think I winged him good. Yeah, right so, up close and run yeah, him down. Yeah, you hear somebody cry out from the rocks. Um, well, go ahead and make a roll there um, to see if you see him, the, your new target this time. There's Cyrus. <laughs> Cyrus. Yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm, I'm still. Just, uh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can shoot from horseback. Can I? You can, but you haven't seen him yet. So let's find out if you've seen him. All right. Let me make an observation roll then, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. <laughs> Hell no. You're still like, where is he shooting from? <laughs> I see the buyer, but I don't see the shooter. <laughs> I'm still just yelling, ah! <laughs> yeah. He's going to go fight some mountains. All right. So oh, yeah. uh, not that your characters know it, but we're out of combat at this point. Uh, what? Just tell me what you guys are doing. Uh, so you you you're pretty sure you got a good hit on him, Wes, uh, and he went down yelling. Go get him! I'm so well. I uh, yelled to Burris that uh, I winged him. Go run him down. As I about to go do the same, as I mount up, uh, resheathing my rifle and getting yeah. out my rope. I yell at Ann, get over here and tie up my leg. I just tied a tie a banana. We, I think He's we very bossy and needy, isn't he? Yes, extremely. Yeah. Just I'm a little over here. <laughs> just a little gunshot to his leg, and he's crying, wailing like a baby. Just walk it off. Caterwauling. Yeah, just rub some dirt in it. Get up. What you crying about? <laughs> I don't have a magic towel to rub on. Okay. <laughs> uh, does anybody have medicine? 
No. I know I don't for yeah. a fact. So. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, because it got converted into a light wound, uh, Jasper, I mean, it really is. It's not as bad as it seemed at first. Like the blood's already stopped. Yeah. If it's already stopped, at that point, I get on my horse and I'm riding up there after him and then. I yell, and hook, hook up your skirts and come on. <clears throat> I might as well. Yeah. <laughs> That uh, that brown bear on the cliff face, though, he's got uh, laser lock on Cyrus. He's just staring right at you. <laughs> With all these he's, gunshots? He starts the starts away. ambling down the hillside. Oh, well. <laughs> this is an RPG bear. It's angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a grudge monster. <laughs> it's, uh, was it Tyra? What was, what was his name from... from, uh, from... Game of Thrones, Tyrell or Tyrant. <laughs> yeah. So okay, uh, so you guys uh, cross the little creek, uh, get up to the side of the the hill there. Um, there's not really a path for your horses. Uh, you can try to get your horses up there. Get as close as we can. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There hasn't been any shots back since you crossed the creek, and uh, I hop off uh, my horse, and I'm going to say his name is Clover as soon as uh, is reasonable and start uh, ambling up this hill rope in hand okay yeah. uh i sort of get off but i got my rifle out and just aiming that general direction and said i'm covering you just in case some bitch pops up again with your luck i you better cover him instead <laughs> and and uh, cyrus what are you guys doing so they're heading into the hills do i know that the fight's over. There hasn't been another shot in a couple of minutes. There's a bear. Mad there is a you. bear meandering its way down the hill, staring <laughs> at you. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll probably ride for a little bit and I'll stop and I'll notice everybody is just kind of meandering around. Nobody's fighting. So I'll be like, well, shit. And I'll ride back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and body's about, still floating in the, yeah. yeah body is still face down in the little creek uh and what are you doing oh the body is still down there we yep. didn't do anything with it uh, i, I was going to drag him out but you know moral of the story don't drink the green stuff <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should go back and since nobody is shooting anymore like at this minute you know go back and try to do something about the body all right, so you want to go so drag bad. the body out of the creek? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and again, it, it's a creek. It's not like it's very deep, and it's not like the body's in danger of floating away. But the longer it sits there, the more damage is being done to it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And more likely, it's going to be bear food. Okay. Uh, so you guys, you you rope off your horses and you start climbing up the uh, yeah. these hills. Uh, it's not a rough climb, but you finally get to the the little sniping perch that's up here. And uh, there's, a, there's a man, it's one of the natives in the area, and he's he's got a knife out. You can see uh, his, uh, his good arm is, uh, looks like, it, you know, he's, he's riddled with bullet holes, actually. <laughs> he's dropped his he's dropped his rifle, and he's got, out a, he's got out a knife, and he's just waving it in front of you, and he's talking. Uh, you don't understand the language. Did you guys pick any, did you get any extra languages? No. No. Nope. We okay. didn't cover extra languages, so no. Say, Linguistics is a skill, and that's what gives oh, okay. you... Yeah, that's like what... I really looked at any of these <laughs> skills before. Right, okay, so you have no idea what he's saying. Uh, but he's babbling something at both of you guys. It looks like he's pretty bad off. You know, I was just sort of like, son, do you understand me? I say it loud because you, they understand you better when you speak loud. Tell you what, let's yeah. see if he understands you. You don't understand him, but he might understand you. Uh, this is not in the system, but I like doing this. Uh, roll a d100 and just tell me a high or low. This is, well, actually, this game has luck. Make a luck check. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. You make it. Uh, he speaks not so well, but he, he's, uh, when you speak to him, uh, he, he changes cadence a little bit. He's, he's like, uh, let let the animals eat the body. Body, very mild, cursed. Don't. And he's he's waving the knife in front of you, talking about that body down there being cursed and saying, don't move it. Don't, don't touch it. 
Why is it cursed? You know. The man eaters. The man eaters. What? Oh, the, those things. You know, rolls eyes. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we have to at least give it a decent burial. No, no, no. What? It, it will rise. It will rise at night. You have to leave it out. The creatures must eat it to make the curse go away. Is he this guy an Indian? Uh, he's a he's a native of the area. <laughs> we don't know yeah. what the area is. So. <laughs> yeah. so why were you shooting us? The area is India, clearly. <laughs> uh, so he's got a little, little red, little dot, red dot, right? right, 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 right. Body, body can't be moved. <laughs> it must be left. It must be left for natural. Natural processes to take, process whatever. Uh, animals must eat. It must the, the bones must be scorched by the sun. The water must cleanse it, or he'll rise. He'll rise again. He'll rise even if I bury him deep in the ground. Uh, he's I just don't, nodding. I don't cotton to I don't cotton to these na native superstitions. You know, he's a it's a dead body. We're going, you know, we may have to take it in, back into town. Oh, he to... looks shocked when you say you're going to take it back to town. Oh, no! Uh, he starts swiping at you with a knife, but he's got a wounded leg, a wounded arm. He's not really capable of doing yeah, much right now. Yeah, you know, if he comes close, I just put put my hand on, head, on his head and push him back. And on, yeah. on, you know, yeah, it's like, son, you is not in any condition. So you, you know, so you didn't kill him. No, the man eaters. Yeah, the man eaters. Right. How are you talking about the man eaters? Yeah. Well, you're not I there. Don't know about oh, you. I'm not there. Never mind. Yeah. I don't know about that. That bear has made its way down a little further up to the creek and sniffing the air. It's heading towards uh, you and Anne in the body. I've seen a thing or two. He says there's man eaters. People changers, ye nala ati, or whatever they be called around here. I don't. Care. I'm aimed to believe them. Son, have you been sitting out in the sun too long? Is the blood loss making your brain hurt? <sighs> Listen, we'll deal with them. We will use our white men ways on them. Okay. Uh, no. What? You what best be taking what? care of yourself now. As you said before, you ain't your job. Well, you're going to take him to the undertaker and, you know, the priest is going to say a few words over him, you know? Okay, we're going to cut scenes. That bear's getting awfully close, Anne and Cyrus. <laughs> he's not really making threatening moves, but he's getting closer. He's sniffing the air. Uh, now that he's a little closer, you can see that the bear is, uh, it's really thin, underweight. Mm. Damn it. I'm gonna have to kill it, aren't I? Beat the bear. Just find right. a bear? You know you wanna. I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. That's the weakling way. Fist fight. <laughs> yeah, take the All bear right. with your bare hands. You go up and fist fight it, and after it eats you, I'll shoot it. <laughs> right, so hey, we'll... I thought you were the young one, uh, the little guy with a chip on the shoulder for being small. Well, I am, but not against bears. So this will be uh, <laughs> short range, so no modifier from that. If you're going to take a careful aim, uh, it's your full coordination. So you're going to roll under your coordination plus whatever, however many points you have in that uh, in rifle. Okay, so I have to roll under 21. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Is your coordination is what, 18? It's high? 19. 19, wow. Okay, so it's still possible to fail if you roll a 20, but you don't fail. Uh, okay. Roll a four. Uh, all right, so let's let's uh, talk about this a little bit too. Go ahead and roll a d20 to see where you hit. All right. Shoot him in the keister. <laughs> the leg. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so one would be a leg normally. But since you're this close, you can uh, you can change where you actually hit. 
Uh, I had them in the sack. Let me look this up real quick. Give me a second here. <laughs> the sack? They don't yeah. have the sack in the, in the shot range. They have a crotch shot, though, I think, maybe. Where is the uh, shooting? Uh, so range movement. Uh, yeah, we are, we're taking the time to, to uh -huh. do the proper rules for things as we're learning this. Yeah. Um, where is it? Come on, I marked it. Come on, turns. It's oh, it's under wounds. wounds. That's why I'm not finding it. It's under wounds. Wounding. Wound locations. Wound locations. Eight, yeah. Eight. Thirty-six. Seven. Thirty-six. Oh, great! There's a there's a broken paragraph that starts on page thirty-seven. I love that. Modifying, uh, yeah, page 37. Okay, by adding right. or subtracting your weapon skill score. So you only got one point in rifle, so you can only move that by one point anyway. So it's still going to be left, left leg. leg. You can't move it any further. So it's going to okay. be the leg. Go ahead and roll a d6. Uh, and does your rifle have a modifier? Um, for the wound? No. Okay, so it's just a light wound. Uh, but you shoot, and uh, you damage its leg it's enough to actually frighten it off it was uh it was making its way to the corpse for an easy snack but uh since you are capable of hurting it you're not an easy snack and it, it just rah, throwing you the equivalent of the bare middle finger and uh starts moving off into the hills okay the bear right. not a realistic real realistic uh hungry bear but yeah we'll get yep. to that <laughs> says you that sounds mm. like an academy award wearing winning bear to me yeah you could you could feel that middle finger from that paw i mean <laughs> <mwah. laughs> all right so yeah. uh, this guy is bleeding out uh he's way he's very adamant that you don't move that body yeah we're gonna have to uh you got any folks you you know you know where's your horse we can put you on your horse and send you home Look uh, yeah. at you being all philanthropic. Well, he didn't kill the man. He was, he's actually acting on his native beliefs. So I'm kind of uh, inclined to let him act on his beliefs, but not with a gun and a knife. He's, he's a good, he's looking very fearful. You, you can't move the body. <laughs> You'll I, bring I, down I, horrors I, upon your people. I, I turn my head and take a chance to look, and I see the body on the on the bank of the river. Too late on that. All right, One yeah, of he my just... folks has already moved the body up on the shore. He just mumbles to himself and just drops the knife, and uh, you catch something about, well, it's on your head. So we're going to leave that body there. We're going to leave him there. I mean, you know, I take the knife and throw it a distance, take his rifle, throw it a distance, you know, but not throw it where he can't get him. It'll just take him time to get him because he's not, not much. I ain't shooting him. He's out. He's not doing anything right now. Yeah. So he just threw his stuff in the, in the bushes. Yeah. You get back home, talk to your folks, get, get yourself healed up. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's, again, he mentioned something about it's on your head, and he slinks yeah. away. He's Mr. not Brent. wounded badly enough that he can only crawl, so he can walk half speed, so yeah, he limps off. Is there a horse? or he There's not a horse, no. He literally walked here, wow. Yep, uh, Mr. Britt, you best ride back in town and see a doctor. Eh, yeah. really. I'm good. Oh, you're good now. <laughs> with all that wailing you were doing earlier, the gnashing of the teeth and the complaining to Miss Anne here. Mm -hmm. You're good. So a light uh, wound in the leg means you can you're at half movement on foot, but doesn't hurt you on a horseback. Yeah. You know, just you know, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> And go off and get to my horse. You know. uh, yeah. So eventually, you guys all meet back up again. Uh, Ann and Wes are, or Ann and Cyrus are looking over the body. 
any blank we can get some blankets in there and wrap that body up because i am not going to have a naked body you know i have a you know he's going to blow up pretty soon you yeah. weren't there during the war sadly though uh you were following a trail that you thought was uh to mr poke yeah. and there doesn't seem to be a mr poke around here anywhere yeah and night's falling that whole thing probably took up uh a good hour so you're you know an hour before sundown or another hour before full dark yeah we yeah. best be getting back to camp yeah Not really it's yeah, we, one night. Tie, you got a rope tie the horse to your tie the, tie the body of your horse and we'll drag him back to the camp nope <laughs> <Get Yeah. a> <laughs> rope. <laughs> and i just mount up like i said i was and i leave the body there yep he's not one of your town folk yeah. so you can't he's got he's got to be laid to rest properly that was my amazing how our situations have reversed i look over at ann wes rides off to camp cyrus you, here. Got, a rope, you got a rope on your horse no we play our rope <laughs> yeah no. I, if anyone, I, I tied to my horse and I ride it back to the uh, camp. All know? right, so you drag the body behind you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go look for some blankets to roll up in, and you know, keep it keep it from uh, you know stinking the place up and looking because I know by morning it's going to be a big old bloat. Easy <laughs> enough. Uh, you get back, you find some uh, you hmm. find some bed rolls that you can roll them up in and just put them on the outside of the camp. Uh, yeah. Somebody mentioned restarting the fire. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you guys will ping me one at a time, John, what tent do you take? Or do you take a tent? I see a mighty fine tent right there. <laughs> <laughs> Make me an observation check. Ooh, as I go inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What in the Sam Hill... Uh, the place has been looted. This was not a struggle. Somebody went through and basically took everything or most things of value out of here. Deputy, get your ass in here. <laughs> God. Uh, so I do nothing that he requests and uh, <laughs> go about looking around a different tent. All right. Point out the tent that you're going to. Uh... These look more like a tent that someone would be uh, sleeping in. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, let's say this one here. Okay. Uh, make me a luck check. Luck check. Okay. So there's make... a bed in mine. <laughs> I am lucky. Okay, yeah. It's it's a simple enough tent. There's a bedroll. Uh, it's actually set up pretty well. Uh, there's a small camp stove inside. Um, camp reason, stove? Yeah, it's one of these little metal um, or iron tripod-like things that you can put uh, a thing of coffee on to percolate, for instance. Um, pretty ballsy for of them. Yeah, uh, but with that luck check, uh, there's uh, you know there's there's a few personal belongings left in here. Uh, there's like a, a like a, a sack, a back a back sack. A sling or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a saddle few things bag. in there. Sure. Uh, not a saddle bag, no. Uh, do you go through it? Uh, something like a messenger bag or something like that, maybe. Or... Eh, I look through it, but just for clues. Okay. Um, make me an observation check. An observation check. Am I observant? I am not observant. Okay. It's probably uh, in writing that I can't read. Yeah, actually, it is. Uh, it's a couple of sheets of, it uh, looks like telegraph paper. So somebody received a telegram. Are you illiterate? Uh, according to the literary uh, scale, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you have no idea. Uh, there, you know, you know what telegram paper looks like. So you know, it's telegram. No idea what it says, but that's like the only I thing. know my letters and I recognize the writing as writing. Yeah. But, but yeah, no I try idea. stopping it up. What st st top stop? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, no, you find. You know your badge says deputy. You, you find a couple of sheets. Of I don't know paper. that. Uh, and Kim, where are you going? I was just gonna go. 
like over in this area here. I don't know if you saw that. But... Uh, I didn't do it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Again, another simple tent uh, put together very well, but it has everything you need in it, including there's a there's a a skin of water uh, and a skin of wine that was left here. Oh. And make me a luck check. Okay, that's a twenty. Yep. Nope. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's comfortable actually, and it's pretty close to the fire, so you know you feel like you're going to stay pretty warm there. Uh, you tuck in, um, and finally, <laughs> where is Cyrus staying? Um, I don't know. I'll go right there if no one's else taking that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Give me a luck check. All right. Oh. I'm going to kind of say that we put the body right about there. Okay. Right, little red circle is. Sure, uh, but all wrapped up in a bunch of coverings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nope. No, no idea. But again, uh, it's it's a good tent, fairly close to the fire. You'll stay good and warm in here. Person knew mm -hmm. what they were doing when they set it up. Uh, nothing inside, though, personal goods other than just some thick blankets and quilts. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, so Stephen is uh, is correcting that. If you didn't put at least one point in literacy, you cannot read. Yep. Yep. Didn't stop me from being a lieutenant in the army. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're we're pretty much at time. So we'll end it there. You have yes. found the count site that uh, Mister Polk and his uh, hunting expedition came out to. No sign of Mister Polk. Oh. Pope, Pope with a P. You Pope, okay, poke. Pope. I thought you said Poke. Um, nope. And nope. it looks like uh, Mr. Pope's tent was robbed before yeah. everyone came back to town. So, yeah, yeah. we'll leave the mystery there. Uh, we will call this our, our first session. So, uh, Bill, you got anything you want to plug for Frog Gods? You got? How did your games go tonight? Um, did it they? didn't. It uh, didn't. I had one person show up. Two, 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 uh, two people said, "Oh, I can't make it," and then I was like, "Well, heck, I can play Boot Hill then." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair there enough. you go. Uh, yeah. So Bill's uh, written a couple of really fun modules. Uh, Dude, where's my sword? That he's running over on the Frog God Games channels now and then. Trying to. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just my regular Wednesday. Uh, Lost City of Baracus campaign for Swords and Wizardry. Mm. Anyone's bored on a Wednesday, come on over. There we go. John, uh, I think you can drop a link in here. So if you want to put in a link to anything you've got going on, go ahead. And oh, so what yeah. have you got? Uh, it's on my iPad. So I actually, dropping a link is actually hard. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I, uh, I uh, play on the Sony Skypers. Uh, we do that. It's an um, actual play podcast. We're play, currently doing Tal Talos Lanta, which we should be doing one of these days there, Bert. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, you know what? I think the edition we're doing, which I think is either second or third, is probably the one to do it in, not first. No, not first. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and also I do uh, on uh, Twitch, I also do uh, every, uh, Tuesdays and <coughs> Tuesdays. Sometimes Wednesday, sometimes not, depends. And on Saturdays, we do a build stream for the Mine Colonies. Otherwise, Mine Colonies does their adventure stream, but they're putting together a new mod pack. So right now, it's lately been, let's figure out why this mod pack is not working uh, <laughs> stream. So, yeah. yeah they're, all, they're, they're, they're a pair of Germans, and they're, they're coders, so they're busy coding stuff on stream. So if you're into coding... <laughs> And Stephen and Kim are uh, internet black holes. Uh, they like to have no one know anything about them. Does that That's continue to hold true? <laughs> yes. Thereabouts. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, otherwise, uh, twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder. We stream on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. My next stream is Tuesday night, going to be first edition Dungeons & Dragons, followed Fridays as BX Dungeons & Dragons. Next Sunday is Shadowrun using the Technoir system because we never play Shadowrun in its native system for reasons. Reasons. Um, <laughs> check out the podcast at Blue Magic, B-L-U-M-A-G-I-K dot com for well over a decade's worth of audio goodness. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Say so